Hello, this is Prash from X Accounting. Today I'll be sharing with you a very useful method of uh, consolidating your column structure data uh, with the click of a button. So let me go through the structure of the sheet and what what we have, what I'm talking about right now. So suppose you have a three dimensional data like this, and every month you receive like thousands of two thousand or five thousand rows of this data. You know, want to consolidate this data to do a more analysis like a pivot table or something like that. So suppose th this is a simpler version. I have only hundred or maximum hundred rows here for each of this three dimensional sheet. I would call it three dimensional sheets, which you can which you want to consolidate vertically one by one in a, in, a, in a fixed order. So then you can later uh, do a more manipulation of data. So uh, this, in order for this clear macro to work, uh, you need to have a na fixed name of the sheet. Otherwise, every time you have to go and change your code and change the sheet name. So uh, here are the sheets. I suggest if you're going to follow this kind of method, you need to copy your data from your database or software or SAP or I mean any any ERP system you from where you, you from where you're getting data you need to uh, copy here in this same structure and uh, you can design the structure the way you want but I'm assuming this is the structure coming out for this example so you need to copy your data in this same uh, in this particular template where you want to copy your consolidate your data so this sheet's name should not change and if you want to change, you have to go and change your uh, code, which I'll show you also how to do that. But ideally, you shouldn't be changing every time. Otherwise, if you may forget to change it, you will mess up entire consolidation. So, uh, for example, I'll show you here. I will click this button, consolidate data. It will consolidate uh, entire uh, three this three sheets data vertically in same format. So. Uh, this three sheet have a uh, data of like this is 99 rows, this has 100 rows, and this is 101. So total 300 rows are uh, copied here, and uh, you can verify the same. Now next time if you want to do the rerun this report, I suggest if you want to follow this method, you have to clear the data first. So I also prepared a button, a macro, which will ask you first. Uh, as a warning whether you want to really uh, really data because uh, macro and uh, VBA and enable events cannot be undo just like normal Excel uh, Excel commands and uh, other formulas or anything you do in Excel uh, which you can do undo with control Z or undo button but in with the VBA when you do certain tasks certain procedures it cannot be undone so to be really careful when you delete data so that's why this particular warning is there so I have to say yes so all the data will be gone now you can reconsolidate every month with the fresh data so let's get on with the code so uh, if you don't know uh, if you don't know basics of VBA, Excel VBA I highly suggest you go through a courses go through many courses on udemy.com it's a fantastic learning e-learning website where you can find a lot of Excel resources advanced Excel uh, uh, power pivot, uh, business modeling, financial modeling. So there are a lot of good uh, Excel uh, VBA courses uh, which will get you started. Uh, it is is not free, so you need to pay a certain amount. Uh, uh, usually it ranges from ten dollar to thirty dollars uh, if there is a discount. So right now they had a discount. Uh, I mean they had a discount of uh, two days back, which expired on the eleventh, or fifty percent off on all the courses. So look out for that website. I will leave you all the courses which I have gone through in, in the description below. But if you don't want to spend at all, there is also a very free, very good free course uh, which is done by one of the uh, good uh, uh, training channel called Wiseall Tutorials. So I will leave that uh, Excel VBA course in the description below, which is completely free. All you need is internet and YouTube uh, access. So. Uh, I suggest you go through these courses uh, and uh, uh, then you uh, see this tutorial, this this my video which will really help you understand easily. So this code is already written. Uh, first uh, subroutine which, which consolidates the data and these two subroutine is for clearing data in the message box which I just show you moments before. So let's go to go to step in mode which is uh, F8. We have to press F8 and First, it selects the subroutine name. Then uh, uh, it selects division one sheet, 
which is the first sheet which you want to import and consolidate in a master sheet so it selects it so it will select range A2 to F2 which is our uh, no maximum number of columns which you want to uh, consolidate so it will select it then it will go uh, it will go down to the last uh, non blank row so uh, one problem with this uh, consolidation would be that if there is any blank row in between the selection will stop uh, just before that blank row so you have to make sure that data is consistent all rows are consistent and there are no non blank rows in between uh, how to consolidate that kind of uh, in that kind of situation there is a separate tutorial i'll be doing that there is a more advanced uh, way to to do that and which i'll be sharing with you uh, at a later stage so right now we have to assume that your data is uh, are consistent so to assume there are no blank rows uh, in between your data so it will select till the last row which is nothing but uh, control shift down there is a shortcut to select uh, all the non blank data in a series in in a row in a row format so now it will copy then it will select your master sheet which is the consolidation sheet it will select range a5 cell a5 because that's where the data uh, structure should be pasted it will do paste special so here i have done paste special unless you want to copy exact formats formulas in your data you can sh you should select paste only paste special only and not without any values like this you should just select paste special and remove this one but i want uh, paste special so uh, my data is consistent and there are no errors in the formulas then it will deselect the cut copy mode now it will uh, next section it will select division 2 sheet which is here it will do same procedure it will select a2 to f2 it will go down so it selects all the data in the consistent data till the end it will copy the data it will select master sheet now this is the trick here now we can, we, do, we don't want to overwrite already uh, data of division 1 here right so we want to go down and select last blank row after this data which this macro will take care so what it will do it will select a range a5 it will go down to the last row which has the data then it will offset so if you know offset function it will it will easy for you so it will offset by one row so it will active cell which is this cell 103 row and cell a03 and it will offset one row down and it will paste data paste special and it will deselect the cut copy same way it will go to division 3 sheet it will select a2 to f2 it will select entire table entire row till the last non blank row it will select copy select a, a range a5 again because this is the master now we have data for one and division one and two already and we want to select last blank row uh, which does where we will want to paste because this is division three's data so we want after division two division one and two so it will uh, select a5 it will go to the last non blank row it will offset it by one uh, one row which is the exact place where we want to paste this division 3 data it will paste there and it will deselect cut copy mode it will either it will just select uh, range a5 which is in the master sheet so we are on the exact same view and we will exit this up so uh, this is the easiest way and very efficient way to uh, consolidate your data which are in uh, structured format especially column format and uh, especially when they don't have any uh, blank rows in between now i will show you how you can clear this data when you want to run the next batch of consolidation every month every week or wherever periodically you want to consolidate data it is important that you clear this data completely and do a fresh data consolidation so uh, with this click of a button you can clear it now I'll show you the code uh, with which you can achieve this so this is a very small code it is called clear main data so we'll, we'll step through this so first uh, it will select the uh, name sub procedure name then it will select master sheet because there is the consolidation we want to select that it will select range A5 to F5 it will go same method or control shift down which is the code here mentioned here so it, it has selected complete data and it will uh, do this uh, uh, this particular code where it will select selection whatever, whatever we have selected it will do clear contents only it will not clear everything clear contents only clear contents if there is a formatting if there are, form, uh, if there are formulas it will not 
uh, clear that so it will only clear contents and gone so data is in clear and it will select F5 just to have a proper view of the sheet this is the macro where uh, you can have uh, this warning message and only if you uh, press yes button it will clear the data it will run the it will run this macro called clear main data if you select no it will do nothing so this is important accidentally if you uh, uh, press button of clear data if you don't have this kind of warning message your data will be gone and as, as, as I told you before any action done on with the VBA uh, VBA codes is undoable unlike uh, normally we do uh, 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 our normal task or anything we deleted can be undoable in Excel uh, it is not possible uh, with uh, any action done with the macro VBA now this code uh, selects uh, it will pop up message and it will uh, show the message box as are you sure want to clear content once the data clear it will not be you will not be able to undo your action so it, it says answer a message box has answer yes or no if the answer is yes it will uh, say select VB case yes and it will call clear uh, main data macro which is here so it will call the macro if it is no then there will be another message box popping up none of the contents data were cleared you can close this dialog box now and it will exit so we will uh, run through uh, uh, F8 again so it asks whether we want to clear data or not uh, we will say yes first we will say no so as you see nothing will happen nothing is cleared your date you can close the dialog box now it will exit now we'll try to uh, click yes and see if the data is cleared or not so we'll run through again there will be a message box are you sure want to clear the contents we'll say yes when we select yes it will go to this macro which is uh, I explained earlier clear main data it will select all the data from A5 to uh, F5 go down with the uh, same as control shift down arrow and it will clear the contents so then code will exit from here because code was called in this uh, particular uh, uh, this code and it will exit from there so this is a very efficient way to consolidate your data uh, with the click of a button uh, if you are getting as I told before if you are getting uh, lot of uh, huge data, uh, data with, with runs in lot of thousands of rows this is the efficient way to consolidate them with the click of a button so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this particular tutorial uh, let me know your comments and thoughts in the, in the description below uh, in the comment section below I'll be linking this uh, workbook as an example uh, uh, in, the, in the video description which you can download and play around with it. You can edit your code accordingly to, to your requirements and uh, start consolidating data. Uh, at later stage and uh, I will also be showing you how to consolidate data and copy paste and also uh, merge sheet without opening them. So suppose you wanted uh, this master, you want certain portion of this sheet to be copied in a separate sheet. After suppose you are doing some manipulation, you are adding some formulas, creating a more uh, of a meaningful data analysis, and you want to copy that data into a separate sheet without opening it. So that method also I will show you in the later part which is more of an advanced uh, version of uh, consolidation and copy and pasting data at the same time you can do otherwise you can bring in data from uh, uh, sheets which are closed and you want to copy data from those sheets without opening them to your master sheet or any other sheet you want so that kind of uh, macro and workbook exercise will be doing together in the future of videos so uh, look out for that and give a thumbs up to the video if, and it will really help me a lot and also fu in future I'll be bringing more of a formula and advanced formula lookup formulas which are important in, in dashboard reporting and also data analysis so advanced lookup formulas I'll be bringing and other consideration and data extraction formulas I'll be bringing along so uh, thank you very much once again and till then uh, happy data analytics